Hello my friends and welcome back yet again to another Uno Moss episode of the series where we're looking at weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. Again, and as always, for those that don't know, Uno Moss level is typically short level showcasing things that definitely weren't intended to be in this game. Let's go ahead and check some of these out. <laughs> The first Uno Moss level we're gonna take a look at, I actually just played in the Uncleared Levels episodes from Monday, and it blew my mind and left me speechless. It's called Magic Spring and Bullion, made by Dong Su, a Korean creator, and when I played this at first, I had no idea what was going on, but just watch. Now, what you're gonna notice in the start here is the conveyor and the flamethrower and the donut, and for the longest time, I could not figure out what I was supposed to do because you're supposed to get inside this pipe but with that little lip you definitely can't normally get in this pipe so i spent a solid like 10 or 15 minutes like throwing springs up here trying to figure it out no i don't know if that's part of the setup but all you have to do is be holding right here and the spring pushes you into the pipe now that's crazy in and of itself but there's more to this so when we go through the pipe you can notice the magic hoop is going to shoot its magic and it's going to transform the pea balloon now when we go through the door just watch. We can now die and I look like an idiot. Let's try it again. The magic Koopa turns it into a fire bar. Now we should be able to, please don't make me look dumb. Yes, get the pea balloon, which was lodged inside the spike. Now, when you do this, for some reason, the spike loses all properties. You can't get hurt from it. It's just like there. You can go through it. You don't get hurt from it. it yeah, it just, it's its kind of, uh, kind of mind-blowing. And then you can uh, progress through the rest of the level. And yeah, when I played this, I had not seen either of these discoveries before. They're probably not new, but I per they were new to me. So this blew my mind the first time I saw this the other day. Left me speechless. Next to the last level we're gonna take a look at is made by Erat Boat called Spiny Fates. Right, here we go. We have two spinies, and we're I guess we're just supposed to drop in here. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what? So the um uh, the kind of wow. So the spinies went through the walls. I'm not sure what this set, whoa. Well, that time it went to the left. That's very strange. You notice it said going to the right, it went to the left. Is there anything down in this red pipe? There is something down this red pipe. Just some nice pixel art, I like it. I like it. That was, uh, I don't understand what the setup is, why it works that way, but that's why it's a Nuno Moss. Next up, we have that sinking feeling made by No Name Bro. So what you're going to notice is we cannot get to the door, which would lead to this bike, because there's the thwomp that can't be activated. But by ground pounding, Mario's going to lower himself just a couple pixels more, thus allowing us to go through the door and beat the level. Pretty simple in premise, but very uh, interesting how just the, those few pixels can change this whole game. Next up, we have Unomas Duck, made by Sasha. Uh, that, I love the pixel art. Is that duck holding a knife? That this works in every style except Super Mario Brothers 1. Oh, so this is another thwomp related one. So notice the thwomp, every time I jump, it's giving Mario the stink eye, the leer face. But if we duck and jump, yeah, yeah it hits the, <laughs> again, weird things, it all comes down to pixels, and it, it's just insane to me how very precise. Next up, we have Tornado made by T. Go! Let's go through the door. Auto. I can, I can handle this. Always love a good auto level because I can't make myself look like a complete dingus. So, I'm just gonna wait here. <laughs> this is a non suspicious setup. If I've ever seen one. Because I can't make myself look like a complete dingus. So what am I supposed to do? Just run? 
Yep. Yep. Nine suspicious setup. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Alright, what's it gonna spell? This to me is the most mind-blowing thing. How you how you can oh you can spell things. Although I don't know if this is gonna spell anything. I think this is just giving us I don't think that spelled anything. Is that, is that supposed to be an F? Is that, is that supposed to be an F? Okay, I, I can read <laughs> I can read that. <laughs> that said CP1. And here comes death. What is going on with this level? Why are there so many key doors? J. K. <laughs> JK times. <laughs> well then. T. That was kind of rude. It's kind kind of rude, but. Like, there's the pipe that we, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next up, we have another one by No Name Bro. This one is called Common Ground. The description of this level said thwomps can only be killed, uh, if there's a solid surface under it. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, you'll notice it did not kill the thwomp. Not killable. The thwomp is, is unkillable. However... If we place the pow underneath the thwomp, then hit the question mark block, it does then kill the thwomp. And then we can uh, go smack dat axe all by ourselves. And another one by No Name Bro, this one's called Just Look Up. Okay, what do we have? Oh, okay, okay. So we need to hit the on off switch before going in the door. So I'm guessing we need to be. How do we do this? How did I do that? Uh, I'm honestly not sure how I did that. I like. I did this weird input where I like threw and right at the end of the throw I pressed up and it worked. Now we're gonna look at Yoshi's Love Note Blocks by Dolphin Laugh. We're looking at a Yoshi that is, uh, you know, chilling underneath the platform. I think this is just showing, oh, I think this is showing us something for later. So notice that Yoshi can, okay, I'm just gonna take note of that. And that time Yoshi, what was different? The only difference is that there's no note block. Literally, the only difference is that there is no note block there instead. The, instead of there being a note block, there's just a tile of solid ground. Why? Why? But why? I, I wish I understood. Next up, we have one by 50 Foot Lock called, Come on, Nintendo Slopes. It says to run. Oh, like automatically makes Mario crouch? So I'm not crouching, literally I'm just running and it makes Mario crouch. You could, wow, so it's showing you what you can run through and these things you cannot run through. Uh -huh. Although the note blocks are pretty janky. There's like a weird animation where Mario does crouch for a second. Uh, what's it say? All enemy. I should have taken damage. All enemies gizmo. I don't know what all enemies gizmo means, but... Eliopuno must anti jump made by Light NG. Reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. So. <laughs> I, 
would say that was incorrect. Not only did we lose the clear condition, but we also died. But by ducking and jumping, it didn't, oh. Yet again, it comes down to those few pixels, friends. A regular jump here kills Mario because it breaks the block and the muncher falls. But by ducking and jumping, it does not break the block and Mario's pixels are wide enough that he ends up grabbing the flagpole. Now we have another one by Apopo. This one's called Super Booper. Okay, we got a door. Oh, uh, hold on. We're gonna watch that one more time. I'm gonna take my webcam off. We're gonna watch this in slow motion and see if we can see the setup. I guess that's the setup right there in the thumbnail, but let's see it in motion. Get ready for slow motion. Now we have one by RPG Maker called Wall Hacks. Hmm. So we have. What do we have here? We have a door. Wait, the end. Wait, what? And the end is through the door. We got a mushroom. Okay. What? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Can we go down the blue pipe? What's down the blue pipe? I don't need a hint. I don't need a hint. We're gonna ground pound here and somehow we're gonna end up on the other side. You know what makes that even weirder? So what makes this even weirder is normally when you ground pound, uh, Bone Suit Mario goes into like the collapse state and you can't control. But when we do this, Mario is not in the crouch state, like the, the bone state, if you will. Can I say bone state? I don't know. We're just gonna roll with it. And then you can beat the level. Strange. Let's look at tens through the saw blade up next. So normally with a shelmet, if there's a spike, you can't do anything, right? Like Mario keeps bouncing, but what if I duck? Okay, ducking has no change, but if we... If you jump three times consecutively, you can get through the saw blade? Um, sure. Okay, Kulin's bombs are slow up next. 40 seconds. Uh, oh, that was not right. So this is definitely not, so this is showing us this is really slow to do. This is really slow to do. Pulling out a bomb. So we gotta figure out a way to do this faster because we're definitely, we're definitely not beating this level. So like there's five seconds left and we still gotta blow up three bombs. So now let's look at the hint pipe. Hint one, no link. Stuff. Hint two. Bounce then A. Hi. Defender. That is, uh, okay, that's insanely interesting. So, what? Why is that working that way? So, we take damage. Okay, take damage. Oh no, when it's bouncing. Ah. Uh. When the bomb is bouncing upwards. Yep, that's our that's our time to go. I'm not timing it right, but when the bomb is booped in the air. Yep, that's what it is. Oh my gosh, look at that zero on the clock and we got the checkpoint ending. <laughs> so that's weird. So when the bomb is in the air and you jump and hit an invisible block, it instantly explodes. Another one by Kulin. This one's called Link is Taller. So we have Mario. Okay, that, that obviously the launcher and the spring hurt us. And you can still die. You gotta take damage anyways to get to the checkpoint. Now we have a Link power up. And we are 
dead. Oh, so that's what we're trying to figure out. We got to figure out a way to take take damage without dying. And we can't use a bomb because that will then... Yeah, we can't use a bomb here, gang. So how can we take damage without using a bomb? Because watch what happens. If we, if we lay down the bomb... Yeah, it drops a launcher and we can no longer beat the level. Maybe we pull out our bow and that changes something? Nope, still die that way. What if I hold the bomb in my... No, that'll still... Well, it didn't work anyways, we, we still died. That worked. Weirdly enough, dashing through there and timing it so I can't believe that worked. Another one by Kulin. This one's called Thanks Nintendo. What do we have here? We have a note block with a key in it. We have a bomb, a launcher. Can I see that again? Let's see this again. The bomb should definitely not be going through the one way, but if you lift the launcher, it lifts the bomb. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, wait, 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 let's see it again. The more I watch of this, the more confused I get. Like, this shouldn't be working the way that it is. And Kulin said this works in every game style except underwater. So why it doesn't work underwater, I don't know. Now we're gonna look at one by S101 called Ghost Pals. Right, what do we have? We have... We have death, for one thing. So weirdly enough, you can go through these pal blocks. If there's a P on top, and I'm guessing it has to do with the piranha plants underneath it, so I just gotta sprint. I gotta time this right, and you can sprint through. Sprinting and ducking. Wow, that's uh, it's, it's pretty challenging. Not only is it weird, and definitely an Uno Moss, but it's it's um uh, definitely challenging too. Ah, it's tough. It's very tough. I, and I found a way to softlock myself. Oh, Dave. Well, I can't get past the third pal, but this is definitely weird, and I would love to know if you can do it in the comments below. Another one by S101. This one is called Moonwalker. Looks like we have to go through the pipe. Oh, this is, uh... You look left, and you can't beat the level, so we gotta figure out a way... How do I not look left? Did it have a hint at the start? The description said while you're in the throwing animation, you can look left. So there's a small frame window you can look left while throwing. Very, very precise, and you don't move very far, but you can do it. So you'll notice. Messed it up! Four to six weeks later. Oh my gosh, that that seems simple in premise. It seems like Like it should be super that took me like 15 minutes. <laughs> I was getting so frustrated. Oh my word Next up useful midair uncrouch made by MG roadkill. This seems like it's gonna be very precise Wow what am I doing here? Okay, so you gotta uncrouch at the exact right time to keep your fire flower. Wow, this seems incredibly precise. Yeah, wow. 
Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it? Okay. Yo, let's go! That was, uh, pretty dang wild. How did I activate that hidden block there at the end? Next up, we have one by Dogo Dojo called Snake Trap. And away we go through the door. Whoa, 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 whoa. We definitely should have died there. There is no reason Mario should be alive. We're gonna play this again now. Look very closely at Mario when he comes onto the screen. The snake block is in him, meaning Mario should have been smushed. If this was any other like level where it wasn't off screen, Mario would get crushed by the snake block and die. I can't tell you how many times I've died from being crushed by the snake block, so that was really cool to see. How about this one up next called Thwomp Sus? So we're supposed to pay attention to the, the description said to pay attention to the sideways thwomps. So they get nudged by the flamethrower. And then that did not hit the on off block. And it seems like the thwomp is not okay. Let's watch this one. Looks like the same setup. Only that time it hit the on off. Will it do it again? No, it only does it once. And then in this room, okay, we got similar setups going left and right. Strange. Strange. Yeah, thwomps can be a little bit janky too, especially with weird setups like that. Yeah, thwomps can be a little strange. Next up, we have Uno Moss Collection number two, made by EJ Bros. And what do we have here? We have some vines hidden behind the clouds. Okay. I'm dead. So there's obviously something behind the one-up mushroom. I don't know what it, maybe we can still get it. There, <laughs> there's a, <laughs> there's a boo behind the one-up. Let's, let's not even touch that. Let's just. Well, that was pretty cool. Okay, now we have a bunch of blue skull coasters. They're all conglomerated into this. <laughs> okay, we got some slopes. What can we? I'm glad we got the checkpoint because you can still die to the the saw blade. Can we die to the side of the saw blade. Yeah, so. The donut does not help us in the slightest. We got the Mario Brothers one slopes. You gotta love that. I don't think I wanna jump up there because I think that's going. I shouldn't have jumped up here, gang. I don't know how we got out of that. That is a pain in the butt. <laughs> and that's it. We did it, y'all. Another one by e Boat. This one is called Moving Ten Coin. We gotta get two of the ten coins. So I'm guessing we just have to time this. But we don't have the block to use it anymore. Well, I mean, <laughs> at least I found another soft lock. Right? That's cool, right? Got it! That is insanely precise. That's got to be like a one or two frame jump. You have to hit it where it gets the bleh, coin block is up and it grabs both of the 10 baggers as they're crossing their path. Let's look at one more by Ira Boat called Power Up Clip. We have a clear condition where we have to reach the goal while being... Oh. 
Oh. Oh, okay. You gotta get the nut suit. Okay. Can we get it? Yeah, you can get it to come out. Let's go. Let's go. So now we have the star, and we have to be very careful here. Oh, the star does not get stuck. Okay, that's really good to know. It's really cool seeing the star in a stuck state like that. So this is kind of tricky to... Okay. Okay, one more time. Got it. Got it! Okay, so that was really cool. I've never seen that where you have to get the power up. Wow. Nice. Well, my friends, that's another Uno Moss episode wrapped up and in the books. We saw several more mind-blowing things that definitely weren't intended to be in this game. For me, the standout one is still the very first one I played that I also played in the Uncleared Level series, but there was a ton of other really cool ones. I have never ceased to be amazed when I play these Uno Moss levels for these episodes. So level creators, keep on creating, keep on discovering amazing things. You are appreciated. Can't thank you guys enough, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care. Thank you.